WTF is an ethnic melody to dumb bitch. Well, to be honest, I could not tell you. But today, we're back at it again. Gonna make an ethnic melody. Something Wheezy would create for Gunna, Lil Baby, or that 120 BPM sort of bounce. Something Japan, Comfy Panda sort of stuff. So let's cook it up, yeah? So I finally got contact. And I, I'm in the orchestra library and I got a harp. I'm just gonna try and cook up something. So this is like a minor chord, right? But I'm gonna delay that middle note, like, like something like this. But I'm gonna make this long like that. But I'm gonna copy the bass note over because I'm just gonna keep the bass note for like a little bit, and then on this part I'm gonna change the bass note up, but keep the top layer. Which add like variety, but also kind of sound the same. This is you, you. You understand when I do it, but let's just do it. It's a bit too dark. Go up a little bit higher. Yeah, that, that could kind of work. So we're gonna copy it over, right? Now, with his bass line, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. See what works or not. Okay. Yeah, that's kinda cool. But I'm also, I wanna switch up this a little bit, a little bit more as well. I keep the same pattern, but change the notes. So, just like, I don't know. We're gonna go up high, maybe, maybe go down. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But yeah, so now I'm just going to mess around with the versatility and the strumming and try and get like a cool, more realistic sort of feel. So now I got another contact library, the Juba flute. It's super good flute. It sounds so realistic. So I'm going to try and make someone wavy with it. Oh yeah, so I want to make this flute like four bar sort of loop, not just like a two bar regular sort of loop, so it's not so like repetitive and boring and predictable. And then, sort of like, I'm just gonna try and copy these notes, I guess, with the flute. And I'm just gonna mess around with the velocity on this as well. Hopefully that, hopefully that sound cool. You see that? Now, now we've got some Kung Fu Vanna vibes in here. So once again, I got another contact library bank. It's, it's like phrases, so it's, it's basically like um, arcades, it has heaps of like samples that you can like... So yeah, I'm gonna try and do some. Yeah, that's, that's a cool one. And I got a bell as well. I don't know if it's gonna work. Might be just... I don't know, I think we might just leave like that to be honest. No bell. So we're gonna bring it to a mixer track. Do a little bit of mixing, take out the lows and that. And let's kind of structure the melody, export it. Then I'm gonna bring up Fruity Slicer here. Bring that pattern into Fruity Slicer. Gonna move all these now. And there's like there's this cool effect you can you can do in Fruity Slicer. You just press D click, raise up the attack, raise up the deck, go in here, press beat, and now it sort of gives like a wavy sort of attacky sort of vibe.
So we're going to export that again. And let's put some eyes type vinyl on the final thing. Alright, there we go. So now we're going to get another pattern. We're going to bring it in. And this is just going to be for the drums. So we'll make that 8 bars. The simple two step high pattern for now. And turn the shift up. And for the bass line, it was a B. And then, and then F hashtag. So cover that over. And then just add some variety so it doesn't sound so much the same. We're gonna do a little bit of an 808 rail right here. And now, we've got this snare. So we're just gonna add it for like some more bounce. I got this smoother 808. Put like a little filter on it. And then we're gonna try and do like a reverse 808 feel. So so this um so this drum pattern ain't like so boring. It has a little bit of spice to it, you know? So we'll do something like that. Yeah, that's cold, that's cold. Oh yeah, I just realized. The 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 bass one was like an A, no, it was like it was like a B then a D, so yeah, the, that would make more sense. Oh, we've got to do some hi-hat rolls. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep these hi-hats really simple and really repetitive. It's like so it's easier to catch like a head bop to it. Little down roll hi -hat, like little down on roll. So basically. I'm just gonna copy that for the whole thing, right? But change it this just a little bit, just like one or two semitones down. All right, so that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned a thing or two. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts on the vid, and hope you guys see how I rated it. Alright, see you next video.